before the game come the two teams. into the NRG Stadium here in Houston, Texas. This is Real Madrid's first game of their pre-season campaign. Eden Hazard's first game in the iconic white jersey after his 100 million euro move from Chelsea. They've spent this summer, by the way, so far, Real, over 300 million euros on five players. We may want more to come as well, the name of Paul Pogma does not go away from Real Madrid. No, there's obviously a bit of finance to be raised and there's a lot of players still looking to be sold. Danny Ceballos is one of those, he's high up the list. Lucas Vasquez, there's, there's several players that Real Madrid can sell to get the finance to pay for Paul Pogba. Now, Paul Pogba, is he the right player to come to uh, play at Real Madrid? Well, when Zinedine Zidane's your manager and he's French, I think... He could get a lot more out of him than maybe any other manager can. So, uh, what's this space? That's a, a really interesting possibility. And here come the winners of the last seven Bundesligas, Bayern Munich. Only by two points, though, in the last campaign, pipping Dortmund on the last day with a win over Eintracht Frankfurt. The two clubs who really set their benchmark by how will they do in European football. And last year for both teams, Champions League last 16 wasn't good enough no not enough and obviously Real Madrid who have won it more than anybody were bitterly disappointed uh, when they lost uh, the two legs against Ajax and they were fortunate I did the game uh, 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 against Ajax in Ajax in Amsterdam and I was disappointed how Real Madrid played they were very fortunate I think to win that game Bayern Munich on the other hand well it's a rebuilding programme you know they've changed several players uh, particularly at the back and uh, Boateng might Still, he may leave, Jerome Boateng, but uh, there's been a lot of changes there, and it's going to be a new, a new look, and a very young and exciting Bayern Munich team coming forward. So, uh, let's see how they shape up tonight. It's going to be a, a very, really good contest. You know, two excellent teams, two massive clubs. They don't come any bigger than Bayern Munich and Real Madrid. Yeah, Bayern have lost uh, Robin and Ribéry and Hummels and Rafinha. They've all moved on. Hammers, of course, back to Real Madrid. It is an evolving Bayern team, maybe, but one which they hope to add at least three or four more players, is Niko Kovac, so it could be, in the coming weeks, uh, a busy time at Bayern. Well, the pre-match handshakes, the high-fives, the fist bumps. As Real Madrid and Bayern Munich lock horns here in this International Champions Cup. All about the uh, pre-season fine-tuning, the what? return to full sharpness, to full fitness, to full focus after the summer break. But there you have two captains, Ramos, Neuer, total winners. Absolutely, the most committed centre-half you'll see around. At 34, Sergio Ramos has won it all and done it all, and he's still hungry for more. Manuel Noor didn't have the best of season last season. You were explaining to me, Dan, about his foot injury. So he's still trying to prove a, a little point or two. But uh, it's going to be a great game. I, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing some of the signings for Real Madrid who are on the bench. Hopefully we'll get a chance to see them in the second half. Well, Bayern strong here. Jerome Boateng will fly home tomorrow amid rumours of a move away. At the start here for teenage signing Peter Arp from Hamburg of the second division. On the bench, Robert Lewandowski, who was once again last season the Bundesliga's sharpest shooter. Over 200 goals in the German top flight. He is a true master of the striker's art. And this is the team then for Real Madrid, their first game of pre-season. The first game for Aiden Azar, the shirt number 50, by the way, is an homage to this city's role in the moon landing. Only five of this team began the defeat of Betis on the last day of last season, where, where they finished only third in the Spanish league. And that's a big disappointment for Real Madrid, Dan, to finish third behind Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. A long way behind Barcelona. On the bench, the new faces include Luka Jovic, as well as uh, Felon Mendy. 
brought in from Leon and Rodrigo, the teenage Brazilian who's very highly thought of. He cost 45 million euros from Neymar's old club, Santos. The referee is uh, Rami Tushan of the USA in charge of this game tonight. Well, Bayern begin in their iconic red jerseys. Real Madrid, of course, all in white. Two famous and storied clubs, between them 18 European Cups. For both here, it is about preparations and getting set for the season to come. Well, it certainly is, preparations, and who's going to fit into the side that Real Madrid have planned through Zinedine Zidane with the squad he's got, and is he going to add to it as well? He's got a few weeks to add to it. And all the talk of uh, Paul Pogba, maybe other players coming in, and the Bayern as well has been linked to Bayern with Gareth Bale who's on the bench for Real Madrid tonight and we'll see where Bale's future lies because it appears it's away from Real Madrid it certainly does but it's a funny way of, of changing from day to day this is Marcelo goes long towards the chasing of Benzema on towards Isco and Benzema's shot and the first skate of Bayern comes in the first minute of the contest well, excellent counter-attack, great ball forward, Isco supporting, I think he'll play in the hole behind Karim Benzema and obviously Eden Hazard, but uh, that was a, a half a chance, didn't hit the target though. Well, Javi Martinez back to uh, Manuel Neuer, who had a very shaky season last year with Bayern, after his uh, two metatarsal injuries, and Neuer... Wow. And the corner given away there with a really rash piece of play. Right on cue down with that uh, appraisal of Manuel Neuer and obviously the problems he had with his kicking. Very shaky start here by the uh, Bayern captain. On the corner, Tony Kroos. Eight years, man and boy on the books of Bayern. And by Kroos. Marcelo's delivery by the head of Javi Martinez. Picked up by Isco now for Luka Modric. Isco again, and it's his future life. Talk of him moving on to maybe cast his new in the coming weeks. Hazard. Lord his first Real Madrid touch. And Marco Asensio. Hazard is with him. Six four ten. Now feet are up. Oh. Right over to Marcelo. Benzema's touch on here. Marco Asensio to Isco and Neuer reacts to make the save in superb fashion. Oh, wonderful football from Real Madrid. It was flowing. The movement was excellent. Look who got on the end of it though, uh, Dan. It was Isco who read the situation really well. And it was all Kimmich. Began every single league game in Bayern's campaign last season. 34 starts. Only Dortmund's Jaden Sancho uh, made more assists to in last season's Bundesliga. This is Thiago over Modric. Thomas Müller. Müller looks for Coman. Comes back Müller's way. Now feet are up. And up goes on. Blocked by Kroos. Oh, good counter-attack movement there from Bayern Munich, really swift and Thomas Muller involved in the heart of it. Good step over. Here's Muller again, back on towards Josua Kimmich. And he's a real goal-maker in this Bayern team. Really has uh, become the new Philip Lahm in that right-back position, though can play also as a very good midfield player in the centre as well. Renato Sanchez on to Yozua Kimmich. Renato Sanchez still. Now Thiago. Keeping the ball really well down. Bayern Munich, they're looking for an angle and they find it. Alaba, now Coman. How can he conjure? How about Renato Sanchez? Too high. Excellent football, though. They kept the ball. It's got to be at least 15, 20 passes from Bayern Munich. They were patient in their build-up. They had the diagonal ball, the Alaba cushioned layoff, and then the shot from Sanchez was over the crossbar. But good, good build-up. You can see the strength in both of these sides. They're, they're two very strong squads.
Yeah, Bayern's really was a season of two halves last year. They had a wretched uh, first half of the campaign for Niko Kovac. Talk of his job being under pressure in uh, the autumn. But uh, post-Christmas, they only lost uh, one league game at uh, Leverkusen. And in the end, won the league by two points from Dortmund. And uh, well, once again, for seven years in a row, the best team in Germany. In the league and cup double, they uh, beat Leipzig to win the uh, German Cup back in May to uh, complete that uh, domestic double. Boateng. Martinez. Well, he's very well known to the Spanish players, ex Osasuna and Athletic Bilbao player. Been at Munich quite a while now. In eight years of the club now for Javi Martinez, plays either as a centre half or in that defensive midfield role, which uh, is his favourite position much of last season. Well, that's where he started off as an anchor man in midfield, but at a push, he can play centre half. Corentin Tolisso. Now Thiago plots and schemes. It comes for Luka Modric. Oh, good ball. And away goes uh, Benzema here. Good it's ball. Benzema with the finish, which is wide of the mark. Yeah, he's offside. It was a little bit slow, the flag coming up. I can see a lot of players were, were stopping. Let's have a look at it. I don't see clearly from there, but he looks offside. He looks as if he was a yard off down. And there's no rush from the defenders getting back to close them down because they knew that and Lionel Messi could beat his uh, 21 league goals in Spain last season for Benzema he's here again away from Thiago for a moment and nicked away for Bayern by uh, Alaba Boateng for Peter Arp Tolisso Way by uh, Ramos for Real Madrid. 15 years now on the books of the club for uh, Sergio Ramos, and as Jerry says, still one of the great competitors in the world oh, game. He hits losing, he really does. And you know, whether you love him or hate him, he's a competitor and he gives you 100%. Number four, Renato Sanchez. It's with Javi Martinez now for Bayern. Thiago's pass into Kimmich's orbit. Thomas Muller and off the run here for Peter Arp onto Yozua Kimmich again. And Kimmich's cross. It's rather over hit. It was over hit. That's a shame because he got into a really good position. Kimmich, I like him. Uh, the 24 year old, he's got great energy. He can't play in numerous positions down because of his athleticism and he, he can play midfield or, or uh, any of the wing positions. By Ramos here for Real Madrid. Goes Isco. Benzema. Well, Bayern's aim is to really bring down the average age. They've uh, obviously lost uh, Robin and Ribéry and Matt Summers as well. Rafinha has gone. Talk of uh, Boateng's potential departure as well. Have uh, double their club record fee with uh, Luca Hernandez coming in as a, a centre half. He's got a knee injury, so isn't on this uh, US tour. Renato Sanchez for Coman's right. Takes on Danny Carvajal. Coman still lovely play by Coman, but then just squeezed out by Carvajal. Well, that's a shame because Kingsley Coman did really well. The French winger, he is PSA. You can see that step over and the change of pace. He actually gets past him in the end, but the second touch here, he just knocks it too far, doesn't he? He doesn't need the second touch for me. He can cross it early. No, oh, here's a break. Led by Benzema. As Hazard with him. Lead Hazard. What can they fashion here, Real Madrid? Right is Danny Carvajal. Carvajal goes again. Oh, there's a, a late challenge on Isco. Well, good refereeing because he was hit just as he played the ball. The referee played the advantage. And it's, it's a really open game, isn't it, Dan? I'm really impressed by both sides are. And there's the late challenge from uh, Thiago Alcantara. Well, 
a set piece in range here for Real Madrid and uh, change here for Manuel Neuer and for Bayern. Well, it is within range is who's going to hit it. East goes over it. I was thinking maybe Marco Sensi would fancy it with his left foot. Good open game so far. Isco or Asensio. It's Asensio, big deflection off that uh, Bayern defensive barrier. Marco Asensio still. Roll back for Tony Kroos. Picked out to Azar here. Kroos again. Malibu is there to uh, head clear. Comes back Isco's way. Isco for Luka Modric. Lovely cross, and Benzema's there, but so too was Manuel Neuer brilliantly. Well, I've got to give credit to Kimmich. I think he did an up-the-foot Benzema off, and then Neuer makes the save. It wasn't that cleanly struck. Great ball in from Luka Modric into the six-yard box, and Kimmich puts him off. Probably should have scored, shouldn't he? But Neuer and Kimmich combination between them, they managed to save the day. A good shot, two good chances for uh, Real Madrid in the opening stages. Well, a good open game, and it is uh, so far for friendly a proper game as well. well. That's what you want, and that's what the manager wants, so they can see what he's got, what his strength and depth is like in the squad. Alaba towards Coman. Open Danny Carvajal here, ahead Thomas Muller. Muller pulls back for Peter Art, and Modric steps in, and away by Thibaut Courtois. Really open game, this, it's good to watch. Oh, good play. Asensio feeds Benzema. Now Corentin Tolisso for Bayern. Game has a, a good tempo, a good shape and feel. Bayern's second game, they were beaten by Arsenal in their uh, first friendly. This is Real Madrid's first action since May. It's with Coman. That's a disappointing ball from Coman. It was the wrong option for me. Around for Tony Kroos now. Uh, Carvajal. A little bit shaky, Danny Carvajal, giving the ball away very cheaply. Boateng. In for Muller here, Renato Sanchez into Thiago's path. Away from what? Now Tolisso. Look at Kimmich's run once more, that's his trademark. His cross, <laughs> and Courtois grabs it. Such a good athlete. Look at Modric on the ball, looking to create. Asensio. Moran for Danny Carvajal. Oh, Rail's turn to... Uh, Try and get the attack going. Both have had their moments so far in this first 13 minutes. The tempo's good, Dan. It's really good pace, and both you know both sets of players. Very few mistakes in their passing, and the movement's excellent. You don't normally see that so early on in the season. Modric. Couldn't find Azar. That will be with uh, Manuel Neuer. Yeah, both teams begin their uh, league campaigns in. Uh, August, Bayern's first game on the 16th of Friday, they will uh, be at home to Hertha Berlin, and Madrid's first league game is uh, at Felter on the Saturday, the 17th of August. That's not an easy one, uh, because but they do play good football, which will suit uh, Real Madrid. The opening game in the La Liga is on the Friday night, though it's Athletic Bilbao against Barcelona. That's San Mames. Thomas Müller beaten with the ball there by uh, Rafael Varane for Real Madrid. They do have a, a cup game the week before the league begins. They are away to fourth tier Energie Cottbus. Now Kroos hands off uh, Renato Sanchez. Modric had his pocket picked. And now Coman chasing on. Within Renato Sanchez. That's the option he's taken. Now the clever, wily Thiago into the Barcelona Academy at La Masia. Coman. Thomas Muller, and now Alaba, 
a little room for Fita up for this Tolisso and again second time of asking he was not denied first goal first blood to buy it well excellent play and you have to say the build up was, was really top drawer I know it was Tolisso who got the goal but there's so many players involved in it Thomas Muller had a big part to play in it and uh, the split pass behind the fullback Danny Coverhall who's been a little bit sloppy I think in the opening 15 minutes and you'll see that in the replay again in a, in a moment Dan but that's where it comes from you can see here Danny Carvajal he's gone to sleep and you can see he's in the back of him and, and Marco Asensio and then the second attempt he sticks in the back of the net Tolisso it's kicked off the line by Marcelo it's a poor clearance as well with his right foot and then Tolisso buries it and that's where the damage is done wonderful build up play and uh, they thoroughly deserve to take the lead for me Tolisso's second start after a, a crucial knee injury last September in the game against Bayer Leverkusen. Did come back in the cup final back in May as a second half sub, but now looking to get himself fit and sharp for the new season to come. Look where the young 17 year old fullback was, David uh, Alaba. He's right up on the edge of the six yard box in that build up. First blood to Bayern Munich, and Real Madrid probably feel they, they should have scored, but they haven't. And let's see what the response is. It's Danny Carvajal into traffic now Thiago's lofted ball for the chasing Thomas Muller look where Courtois come to and now Coman goal open looks for Fita up instead and Real Madrid survive another scare well mistakes and we were talking about very few mistakes in the opening 12-13 minutes and we've seen two mistakes inside a minute but it's end end stuff Dan it's really exciting it's Hazard the 100 million euro man Hazard still his cross and Boateng says oh no you don't behind for a corner good response from Real Madrid and first time we've seen Eden Hazard really have a go at the defence and it'll take a few games for him to settle in but he's a quality signing Marcelo and Sergio Ramos so oh, across the face of Bayern's goal it stays 1-0 to the Germans well, he was going for goal, and that was a tight angle, but probably should have scored for me. Marcelo. Again, Bayern stand firm. It's uh, Thiago's breakout here. Looks for Renato Sanchez. He'll get there too. Maybe he's got support arriving from Alaba. Renato Sanchez went for goal. That's going out for the corner kick, and wonderful counter-attack play from this uh, Bayern Munich side showed their athleticism and Sanchez combining with David Alaba and Zinedine Zidane his first spell brought to three successive Champions Leagues corner here for Bayern and Peter Arp in there among those uh, in that Bayern raiding party Taken by Yozua Kimmich. And towards Thomas Muller. It's back with Kimmich again. Kimmich delivers and Courtois will gather. This is Benzema. Teams, of course, who met in the Champions League semi-final back in 2018, a game which was really decided by an awful mistake by the Bayern goalkeeper Ulreich on that night when he missed a Tolisso back pass and Benzema tapped in. If there was no mistakes, there was no, there's no goals, Dan, and that's why football is. But this is a really good game. It really is. There's Thomas Muller in for Peter up. And Varane there to guard the near post. He's really quick, feet up. Seen him now two or three times, getting into the danger area, causing all sorts of problems. Interesting to see Thomas Muller playing down the middle as well, and, and they, they, they interchange really well together, feet up and him. That's a good ball. This is Marco Asensio in business here for Real Madrid. Now towards Zayd Nazar. On debut, new man, big night. Hazard, Marcelo's cross, Alaba's header drops here to Isco, Isco shot, and the way was Javi Martinez, now Kroos, 
Back out to Danny Carvajal. Really good game, really enjoyable open contest. It's close from range. Oh, he was being a little bit hopeful there, wasn't it? A good 30-odd yards against a quality goalkeeper, Manuel Neuer. Nico Kovac, ever the uh, studious note-taker. Second season in charge. He's first that uh, League and Cup double. Was a Bayern player too back in the uh, early years of the century, having uh, won 80-odd caps for Croatia, though he's uh, born in Berlin. He's a brother Roberts on his coaching staff as well. They were both uh, Croatian teammates in years gone by. Renato Sanchez, pressured by Luka Modric. That's Coman, free kick Bayern. Well, good football from Bayern, you know, they, they've under pressure on two or three challenges and uh, they've stood the test so far as Real Madrid are pressing for the equaliser. Thiago's ball picked out there by Marcelo for Aiden Hazard. Hazard, Benzema. What a shame. Excellent movement, just the first touch from Karim Benzema is a little bit heavy. I'm going to see a good combination come from these two. That's the, the pass. Tight, tight congested area, but he still found him. Sergio Ramos for Tony Kroos here for Real Madrid. As our takes and turns. It runs on towards Isco. And here he's a defensive station. He's the Maktou Yazua Kimmich. Evi Martinez. The head here is Alaba. Maybe almost 10 years ago now for Bayern Alaba. I really feel he's among the best left backs in the world. A player who's uh, noted too for his uh, free kick taking. There's been a link as well in the press between him and Barcelona, which has been, I think, uh, rubbished in the Spanish media in the last day or so. There is Varan for Kroos. Now Azar. Azar releases Benzema back on here towards Azar, oh. but uh, Bayern stand firm at the back again. Very unfortunate. Just clipped the heels of Javi Martinez. That reverse pass. It's a work in progress, you can see they're, they've been training, their pass is not bad, they're very, very close to getting an equaliser. It's Kimmich, big deflection, and Courtois responds to that deflection. It comes in handy when you're six foot five, doesn't it? He's been told he could be on the way, yeah. Uh, Thibaut Courtois didn't have a great first year with Real Madrid and uh, he and Keylor Navas neither appear to be uh, outright number one. Benzema here into Marco Asensio's path. Asensio again. And there though was uh, Boateng. Renato Sanchez. Thiago. Now Tolisso. Peter Art. Peter Art was brought in from second tier Hamburg for around 3 million euros. So, a man with a huge youth level experience for the German national team. Lots of goals, but only three league goals so far for Hamburg in his career before the move to Bayern. I think he's got a lot of potential, but he still has to fulfill that. But he's at a very young age and has every chance of doing that with a big club like Bayern Munich. 19 feet are up. Into Danny Carvajal here for Real Madrid. Madrid in possession. Kroos. East go for Marco Asensio. The cross for Benzema. Whether he will try to prevent the corner, he's done that. Danny Carvajal will pick up the pieces. Now it's Benzema in a tight spot. Benzema's shot got away and Neuer down to make the save. 
Yeah, there was a rash challenge on Danny Carvajal just inside the penalty area. The referee let it continue. Kareem Benzema got the shot off. You can see through the legs of the defender and a sharp save down to the right from Manuel Neuer. Tolisso. Uh, pushing on once more is Yozua Kimmich. On to feet it up. And Kimmich goes again, but no way beyond... Uh, Ramos is the referee way beyond Ramos. Well, is it is it mere? Does everything go down this right hand side with Yasua Kimmich because he's got such a good engine? They, they they rely on him heavily and they have had a lot of reward there. He made 13 goals last season from that right back position, Yasua Kimmich. Such a reliable provider of uh, crosses, assists. Great turn. Now by Thiago here into Fita Art, but uh, too heavily hit. Close. Dave Meza. Rafael Varan. Ramos again for Real Madrid. A goal down here to that uh, Corentin Tolisso strike for the German champions. Here though is Varan. Isco. Marco Asensio for Luka Modric. Modric, Rafe Malaba, the cross here for Marcelo, knocked <laughs> away there by uh, the head of Fita Arp there with Marcelo just waiting there, poised for the volley. Well, he had timed it, and Fita Arp has got back and worked tremendously hard just to get the little touch on it. Again, good build up, but no finish from Real Madrid. Marcelo for Kroos. It's Isco. Modric in space to work and now finds Danny Carvajal. The cross for Benzema too long. It's going to be kept alive though here by Marcelo. And caught there, fell by Peter Arp. Well, clumsy, taken quickly by Marcelo. He's clutching his right knee. Now Azar back on for Marcelo, recovered now. The cross in towards Sergio Ramos, arriving there from nowhere to try and get a connection on that. Well, he looked like he got there first. He just didn't make any contact on it. Was it too big for him? Excellent ball in with the, the right foot from Marcelo. Only well, Madrid pressure building. Eden Hazard. Tony Kroos now sets up Luka Modric. As are Modric. Little triangles here from Real Madrid. It's Aiden Azar. Cross crosses. Varane's header. Well, it wasn't a bad ball to the far post. There was two or three people scrambling for it. You can see as the cross come in from Tony Cross, the far post. Well, Rafael Varane and, and Karim Benzema jump for it. Well, I think it comes off Benzema last. Renato Sanchez, he's got three white shirts. It's come now to uh, involve Alaba. Ahead, Renato Sanchez and uh, Coman. Alaba scored in the final match day, the title winning game against Frankfurt. That's a 5 1 success. And both uh, Ribéry and Robin signed off with uh, last ever goals in a Bayern jersey. Yeah, the past now will be the future with uh, Bayern, which we'll see in the coming season. Two fabulous players, wasn't it? Arkhan Robin and, and Frank Ribéry, both sensational players. Joshua Kimmich, Quentin Tolisso, sets up Thiago with the shot, and caught a response to it. Well, he saw it late, you have to say. Thibault Courtois, he's got down quickly to the left-hand side and happy to push it round the post. Excellent strike from Thiago Alcantara. From well outside the box. Vicious, so you can see the zip off it off the surface. Fine corner. We near the game's half-hour mark in Houston. Mazur Kimmich with the corner, with pace on it. 
And there's Coman and Boateng for Renato Sanchez. And Courtois behind that. Well, chances at both ends. For me, the finishing for Bayern Munich has been better. They've certainly hit the target more often. And there's a couple of chances have gone a begging for Real Madrid in the first 15 minutes. Kareem Benzema probably feels he should have scored. Thomas Muller holding his chin. Knocking the face for Thomas Muller. Now Isco feeds Rafael Varane here for Real Madrid. It's Luka Modric. And Isco. Modric. Come back here for Isco again. The uh, turn was clever, but uh, so too was the uh, awareness there from Bayern and from uh, Quentin Tolisso. Well, intercepted by Rafael Varane. And he strides away here for Real Madrid. Well, half an hour has uh, fairly flown by in Houston. One goal so far, Quentin Tolisso for Bayern. Been excellent, Dan, I have to say. Wonderful 30 minutes, end to end stuff, great football, opportunities, chances. This is the sort of international cup competition you want to see. It really is. Don't forget, it's only Real Madrid's first game of pre season, Bayern second. That's the sort of standards we're looking at. You know, you want to win the Champions League and you want to win your own domestic league, you've got to be good. Ibn Azar here, Marcelo the target. Renato Sanchez, probably done. Tolisso. You can see the second game certainly has made a difference. Bayern Munich look half a yard quicker, don't they? They look as if they're anticipating better. And they're passing the ball really well. Not that Real Madrid's doing too much wrong, I just think Bayern have got a slight edge on them at the moment. Well, Dorman ran them close in the uh, German league last season, the Bundesliga, only two points the margin at season's end. And Dortmund too have spent big, and they've brought in uh, Aiden Hazard's brother Torgan from Gladbach to uh, help them to try and uh, topple Bayern in the coming season. There's Danny Carvajal, there's a play down injured here for uh, Real Madrid. Yeah. And Sergio Ramos. And it's Sergio Ramos, I think Thomas Muller, when he was trying to past the ball, he overstretched and he caught Sergio Ramos in the thigh. Let's see, yeah, and there his knee just catches him in the thigh, accidental of course. There'll be a bruise I'm sure in the morning for uh, Sergio Ramos. I can hear Mo Salah shouting, come on my son. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Thomas is not that type of player. He's not. He is, he's, he's a decent player, and he would uh, hold his hand up. And it looked a total accident to me. Isco. And Danny Carvajal. Marco Asensio takes up the attacking baton now. Finds Tony Kroos for Real Madrid. Moved on again now to Sergio Ramos. Gross, Fitisco in turn now for Aiden Hazard. Hazard, Benzema miscues. And the ball breaks through in the end off Marco Asensio for Manuel Neuer. Well, it's not the first time in the first half this has happened. It's good build up, good pass into the box. The step over was good, but the finish from Benzema, he really didn't catch it properly. And uh, then the, the second attempted shot from Isco was blocked. Boateng. And Peter Art, rather sold Muller short, then uh, Ian Ramos with another coming together. Well, this is the build up, really was excellent play. And there's a pass step over, and he didn't hit it, did he? Kareem Benzema, he, he, he looked surprised it actually arrived at him. But this is a really good chance. And then excellent defending as Isco has the strike. The two there came together, both uh, Alaba and uh, Boateng, to make sure there was never a clean strike on there for uh, Marco Asensio. 
That's the difference, that extra week of training, I think, Dan, you know. Here's Thomas Muller. Modric pressured by uh, Renato Sanchez as well. And swimming all over those white jerseys at the moment. This is fabulous stuff. Look at the hard they've played out from the back. Aiden Azar here in full flow for Real Madrid for the first time. Azar, on he goes. And foul, free kick. Brilliant, brilliant referee. He did try to take him out, and Hazard does brilliant to stay on his feet. And hats off to the referee. Well done, the referee. And he pulls him back. Well, there's two fouls, really, isn't there? The outcome is the same, a free kick for Real Madrid in a position of some potential too here. As we now are in the first half's final ten minutes in Houston. Isco, plan A, plan B, Marcelo here. Well, Marcelo steps away from this. That's well, left foot, Marcelo down and right foot, Isco. Definitely within range though. It really is. Isco or Marcelo, one or the other here for Real Madrid. Isco takes and tries again. And both have the same outcome. It stays 1-0. Well, he hasn't really had the impact on the game he should have, Isco. He's a tactical player, but he hasn't got into it. And the pace has been a really good pace. And sometimes the game has passed him by. Which it has on a few of the Real Madrid players. They've really got to up the tempo. Here's Kimmich. Now here on uh, Corentin Tolisso by uh, Marcelo. Well, he's jumped blindly and he's got the ball, but inadvertently he's hit Tolisso. He jumps straight into him. The referee's got to give a free kick, he can't give anything else. Well, Tolisso was Bayern's record by before Luca Hernandez, cost them 41.5 million euros from uh, Leon two years ago. Oscar, as I say, was hit by a cruciate knee injury. Had a good first season, though. Danny Carvajal and Modric. Bayern's lead through Tolisio's goal. 1-0 in Houston. Tony Kroos. Aiden Azar. Azar goes a long way here. Didn't quite pick out the uh, one of either Benzema or Marcelo with him. Good defending, really good defending. Let's make of Azar's debut so far. Well, he's trying, but the team's still trying to net, and they're trying to get used to him. And uh, the movement hasn't been bad. There's been some really good moments, and Hazard's had some good moments. It's not been a bad performance from Real Madrid. I just feel that Bayern Munich are maybe a week fitter than uh, Real Madrid, and they should have taken one or two of the early chances they had. Modric here onto Isco. And now Aiden Hazard punched away by Manuel Neuer. That was almost Hazard's big moment. I think he heard me heard you ask the question, Dan. He's responding for himself. Excellent stuff. It's come on. And uh, Müller peels off for Tony Kroos. Toliso. And now Josua Kimmich. Wider still to feed her up. Up, away from Marcelo. Up! And Courtois, at the near post, I think, did enough there. It's, I think, given us a goal kick. Well, it looked as if it might have hit his hands. This is a brilliant save. Great strike from Eden Hazard. Wonderful. Back to uh, Thibaut Courtois. Now Isco pressured and fell there by uh, Thiago. He doesn't like being pressed, does he? Isco, he hasn't got into the game. And worked his first touch really well, cleverly. The referee has given Isco the benefit of the doubt. He's got the free kick. Yeah, good game so far for the referee from the MLS, uh, Rami Tusha. Tony Kroos has his uh, shirt pulled, free kick to uh, Real Madrid. Oh, 
wonder we're going to get the sort of game that they first had here back in the 50s against West Ham. Three goals to two it was. We'll be happy with that tonight, wouldn't we? We would indeed. Here comes uh, Marcelo. And in the way was uh, Jerome Boateng. Well's last game here was uh, two years before Man walked on the moon. 1967 when they played West Ham United here in this city. Yep, 52 years, I think it's two or three months and several days. Comes to Marco Asensio for Real Madrid. Half time now is uh, five minutes away. Look at Modric, Danny Carvajal. And have their defenders back in their defensive stations. Can they pick a way through here? Marcelo tries, Benzema. And Benzema goes again. The cross, Neuer's punch away comes for Luka Modric. Modric! Javi Martinez, the player, in the way for Bayern this time. Again, another half a chance from Real Madrid. Luka Modric does well to get the shot off. But uh, they're holding firm at the moment, Bayern Munich. Isco turns. Back on for Modric. Marcelo for Eden Hazard. Hazard, no way uh, beyond Kimmich just yet. Hazard though for Marcelo, in for Benzema! Another close call for Real Madrid, it's come to Danny Carvajal. And for Modric. Oh, they're picking up the momentum, Dan, aren't they? They're really doing well, Real Madrid. They've got stronger and stronger and have created more chances as the game's going on. Wonderful play from Eden Hazard. There's the cross from Marcelo. How can he not get on the end of that? He's so close. Karim Benzema, look at this, another chance. Benzema there again. Oh, my goodness. From Marco Asensio's delivery. They're getting closer. They are, but they're missing chances, and it's probably ring rusty. They've only... This is their first game, really, and they've missed chances I would have expected them to score in another day. He's missed it completely. He's going to hit it with the studs. Good ball in from Marco Asensio, and he, he misses it. That's incredible. And 21 league goals in Spain for Benzema last season. Only Lionel Messi got more in the Liga. He can be hit and miss, though, Karim Benzema. You know when he's on form, if he's scoring one or two goals and his confidence is high, he makes good runs anyway. He's an excellent player, and he has a very good work ethic. Marcelo, Hazard, Nisco. Marcelo's pass. Ramos out here to Danny Carvajal. Danny Carvajal's ball in. Eden Hazard, Danny Carvajal, Isco waiting for it. Comes back Carvajal's way, but a foul given. And a free kick for the Germans. Well, there's the foul from Isco. That's the initial foul, and he could have given several fouls for me, but the initial foul was on the uh, French player, Tolisso. On the free kick, it's uh, Thiago here for Bayern. And for Thomas Muller. And now Boateng. Again, they release Yozua Kimmich for Renato Sanchez. Got his first league goal for the club in... Uh, the last game of last season, Renato Sanchez, after a pretty difficult three years with Bayern, going after Portugal's uh, success at the Euros in 2016, came for 35 million euros from Benfica. The loan spell with Swansea two years ago. Danny Carvajal. And the run here is Luka Modric. Marco Asensio. Luka Modric towards Benzema, Boateng standing firm, but here's Modric's those dancing feet of Luka Modric! <laughs> and Moy makes the save. Well, that's vintage Luka Modric, his anticipation when the ball's headed back out again, he gets it first, inside the box, on his left foot, and he does so well to hit the target, and another excellent save from Manuel Neuer. He's been a busier of the two keepers, you've got to say, and they are, I think, they're, they deserve to be at least level, Real Madrid, but, hey, give credit to Bayern Munich, they're, they're holding firm, they're well organised. And here's the old man, Monoya, back, a very good first half from the, uh, the club captain. 
On the ball again after a shaky first touch with his feet in the first couple of minutes. You called that one right, actually, Dan, you did, and you can see he wasn't too clever with his feet, but his hands are excellent. There's Danny Carvajal. Toliso for Thiago for Renato Sanchez. On the chase here is uh, Coman. And added time. It's Coman for Bayern. Angle is tight. Courtois saves. Now Renato Sanchez. Yozua Kimmich. Renato Sanchez again. And again with Courtois. Oh, 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 oh. A little bit of a response there from Sanchez. As the play continues, the referee's going to have to stop play. Yeah, Isco uh, goes on, but uh, yeah. They will be called back, I'm pretty sure. In first half stoppage time. Courtois, like Neuer, in action in this first half, plenty. Certainly has been great entertainment, and the referees played a very big part in it for me. It's kept the game flowing, made some excellent decisions. And what was the problem with Renato Sanchez? He seemed to react angry when he played the 1 2, didn't get the free kick or penalty he was looking for. There is Marcelo now beyond the indicated one added minute. It's Marcelo for Isco. Isco into traffic, back to Tony Gross. For Asensio, this will be the last attack of the first half. That is the last action of the first half, so at the break, good open stuff this in Houston, Texas. A one goal from Bayern's uh, Corentin Tolisso. And this was that late first-half flashpoint involving Renato Sanchez and Danny Carvajal. It all calmed down uh, fairly sharply. Yeah, I think his first touch is heavy and he, he feels contact from Carvajal and he goes to ground and that's why Danny Carvajal reacts. But you can't push people in the box, that's the problem. Danny's not allowed to do that. So Tolito's goal at the break is the difference, but a really open, lively game so far. At the break, buy and hold the cards. They lead Real Madrid by one goal to nil here in Texas at half-time. Welcome back to Houston. Half-time here, Bayern lead Real Madrid by a single Corentin Tolisso goal to nil. And our one hope here, Jerry, is that the second half is as good as the first was. Oh, absolutely, and I do believe we're going to get a lot of goals. I, I think there's more goals, they're imminent. Both sides have attacked really well. I think there's a slight edge with Bayern Munich because they've had that early game and uh, they've got that out of their system, but you can see there the possession and the shots from both sides. Yeah, that first half, 24 shots towards goal, 10 on target for the two teams. Spicy goalkeepers Neuer and Courtois in that first half. Bayern's second game of pre-season, Real Madrid's first game of their pre-season preparations here in the USA. With the league seasons now, what, uh, around three or so weeks away from their start in the second week of August. It'll be here before you know it. Well, NRG Stadium, it's a good crowd too for this one. They've been entertained as well by the sets of players. We will, I'm sure, see in the second half a number of uh, team changes. Bayern in their last game uh, made 11 at half-time in the loss to Arsenal. What will uh, Messrs Zidane and Kovac do for the second half here at NRG Stadium? We shall see very shortly. Bayern have brought a fairly uh, young squad, a number of players on the bench who haven't got any taste of uh, senior first-team Bundesliga action. The Real squad includes on the bench a number of household names, which I'm sure we shall see as the second half develops. It's like I know a player you're very fond of, uh, Jerry uh, Vinicius Junior, the, the young Brazilian. He's exciting, he's brilliant. He loves to run at defenders, he causes havoc, and he's still very young, he's only 19, and uh, it looks like Navas is coming on as well. Jesus Navas, there's going to be several changes, there's no doubt about that. And, uh, we will see who will be replaced. But it's all part of their preparation, and it's exactly the same with Bayern Munich. They're going to do exactly the same. Well, on to the field for Bayern, I saw Serge Gnabry there about to uh, come on. Had a good first uh, year with Bayern proper last season after loan spells uh, away from the club. And he will come on uh, for the second half. I think we could well see uh, also coming on maybe the Canadian Alfonso Davis. He 
goal will be certainly uh, a change for Real Madrid with uh, Keylor Navas, the Costa Rican, coming on. We're going to see, I think, uh, Sven Ulreich in goal two for Bayern for the second half. So we'll see for both teams here, the two squads really uh, used and uh, rotated. There is Gnabry. And so uh, Benjamin Pavar will come on too, the... Uh, Summer signing from relegated uh, Verfri Stuttgart of the uh, World Cup winners with France. But uh, for now, his international colleague Corentin Talisa has got the only goal so far in this game in Houston. And here comes uh, Bayern's uh, second half team. We'll see how many changes they make in goal for sure. We're going to see Ulreich in goal for Manuel Neuer. And Gnabrian, also Niklas Zula brought on at centre back by. Uh, Nico Kovac as well, as well as Robert Lewandowski too, will be the second half's captain, the all-time record Polish international goal scorer, will come on for the second 45. He scored their goal in defeat to Arsenal in their last friendly. Real will change their entire team. Wow! We're told for the second half, wow. eleven changes. Wow! 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 That's. A real shake-up. And they didn't do too bad, but he knows they've got to get match fitness, so he's he's using the full 22 squad. Incredible. Yeah, Nacho will be their captain uh, for the second half, number six. So we shall uh, see uh, how the game unfolds now with uh, both coaches looking to rotate their packs and see what they've got in reserve for the coming season. So Kelo Navas on in goal for the second half, then for... Real Madrid. You see a debut too for Luka Jovic for the second half, a player that uh, Niko Kovac will know well, of course, from the days with Eintracht Frankfurt together. So lots of changes for the second half in this game. Real's first game of pre-season. They, like Bayern, will change an entire team in their first game for the second half. Is, uh, Vinicius Junior, that uh, Brazilian we spoke of, such a highly rated young man. He scored twice in the Liga last season. The referee has to count out uh, the, the players on the field now to make sure there are 11 versus 11. As Real with this all new team for the second half get the uh, game back underway. It is, of course, pre season a chance to get uh, legs and miles in the tank we shall see how the second half team fare here here comes uh, the young Japanese Kubo and Kubo's cross and all right there to make the, uh, the catch but uh, Kubo brought in from the J-League from FC Tokyo in the summer the young man uh, Zidane said has got in his uh, words great ability and if he says that he must have uh, some uh, skills to pay the bills I haven't seen much of there's a mistake. He's fortunate to get away with it. I don't think I've ever seen a complete change at half time in any of these uh, competitions, but Zidane Zidane's his own man, he makes his own choices. Yes, 11 players changed. Good to see Mendy in at, at left back as well. Yeah, fell on Mendy, the player there, he brought in from Lyon for nearly 50 million euros. This is uh, for Bayern, uh, Benjamin Pava for Corentin Tolisso. Borteng towards Gnabry. All taken down here by Gnabry, he'll come back his way as well. Gnabry still for Bayern. Here's Yozua Kimmich playing his midfield role now, can play, as we saw in the first half, right back all now as he is in that central midfield position where he will sit and hold. There is Kimmich. Niklas Zula. Pavar. Gnabry. Gnabry goes again. And blocked away, comes back uh, Pavar's way. Pavar held off here by uh, Felon Mendy. And there's Vinicius. 
very competitive, isn't it, Dan? You know, their challenges are coming in thick and fast. Players are trying to settle in, and it's got to be difficult. It's going to take them five or ten minutes to settle down. And Modric in conversation there with his uh, fellow Croatian, uh, Niko Kovac. Yeah, the young boy, uh, Kubo, he's only 18, the player they brought in from uh, the J-League this summer. And the ball again here. Good turn. Good chase on there for uh, Luka Jovic. This is Thiago. It comes for Lewandowski. And Toliso. Fine again on the ball with Gnabry. Moved on to Yozua Kimmich. Niklas Zula was uh, really Bayern's first choice centre-back uh, last year. They then rotated alongside him, uh, then Mats Hummels. And uh, this man Boateng. So the whole team changed. I see Dan for the second half. There is uh, Boateng again for Bayern. Don't forget he will go home when this game is done to uh, return to Munich. It's wide to Pavar. Pavar, Lewandowski, Gnabry, here's Kimmich. There's a free kick. Well, there on uh, Rodrigo. The player making his uh, first appearance in the Real Madrid jersey, the Brazilian they uh, brought in from Santos. Well, you can see he's caught there clearly by Thiago. And no question of the foul. He does argue with the referee, though. 18 cost them 45 million euros from Neymar's old club uh, Santos this summer. Rodrigo has scored uh, nine goals in 41 games in the Brazilian top league, the Brasileiro. You can buy and do here with Tolisso. Well, Coman runs on for Alaba. It's Coman, twists and turns. Sets up Thiago here. It's alive with uh, Benjamin Pavar. Gnabry away from trouble, finds Kimmich, and Bayern will stay on the front foot, but for how long here as uh, Vinicius tries to close down Zula? It's with Coman. Again, those dancing feet into Alaba's orbit. Alaba's cross beyond Navas and beyond everybody. Well, it's a bit of a relief because the Real Madrid side has not settled down. Everybody's running all over the place. So don't look as if they've got their shape yet. Yet, I told you it's going to take 10 minutes. When you make that many changes, it's obviously chaos. Not on there by Luka Jovic. <laughs> Zula. To uh, Corentin Tully, so breaks though here for Real Madrid. Rodrigo brought down, yellow card as well here for Yozua Kimmich for the foul on uh, Rodrigo. Rodrigo's first action in the uh, Real jersey and uh, draws the yellow card here for the uh, foul by uh, Yozua Kimmich. First caution of the game from uh, referee uh, Rami Tushan. Is Mendy. With uh, Kalo Navas. In his sixth season now uh, with Real Madrid. This is placed for the most part to uh, Thibaut Courtois in the uh, last league campaign. Here is Kubo. Kubo for Mendy. This is. Uh, Jaime Seon. Nacho, the second half skipper here for Real Madrid. Moved on to Adrian De La Fuente. Kubo. Mendy. Then they involve here Takafuso Kubo. 
He's begun the game brightly since coming on. On to Mendy here. Ulrich, the goalkeeper who made that awful mistake, don't forget, in the semi-final of the Champions League when these sides met uh, in 2018 in the game in the Bernabeu. Uh, Kimmich's uh, yellow card confirmed for you. Certainly plenty of energy in this Real Madrid side, as I say, it's just a question of them settling down. And you can see he gets in front and he pulls him back, it's, I think it's Javi Hernandez. This is Vinicius, and uh, Gnabry steps in there for Bayern. He still lead by that uh, single Quentin Tolisso goal after 15 first half minutes. It's with the Niklas Zula. Very much the first choice centre half now for the national team too for Yogi Love. Yeah, they brought in at Bayern from uh, Hoffenheim a couple of years ago. And Zula again, a really quick defender too. I think last year he was. And is the quickest player in the entire Bundesliga, uh, Nikola Zula. Back with uh, Sven Ulreich. He's normally a very reliable uh, Manuel Neuer deputy. Boateng. Oliver finds Lewandowski, turns away well here. Moved on now to Corentin Tolisso. Gnabry takes on Mundy. And Pavar is there, but uh, watched away here by the uh, new fullback brought in from Lyon. I guess as the uh, the long-term Marcelo successor, uh, Fernand Mendy. Yes, uh, excellent player, French international, um, a lot younger, obviously, and he's one that we'll see gradually play a lot, a lot more football for Real Madrid at left back. But it's a question of just settling in first. Yeah, 24 now, uh, Mendy. That's his first game for the club. He made his French debut against Uruguay back in November as well. This is uh, De La Fuente. The cross in towards Luka Jovic. And uh, Pavar behind for the corner here for Real Madrid. He could not take a chance. He had to put it out. You see gradually Real Madrid coming more and more into the game here. Well, that looked like a foul. It looked like a foul the other way. I think very fortunate to get that one. And the corner taken here by uh, Rodrigo for Kubo. Rodrigo's cross swelled in, but uh, far too near to goalkeeper uh, Ulreich. Trying to brought on that uh, World Cup winner Pavar. He's had a really strange few years. He uh, with Stuttgart won promotion, then a year later won the the World Cup and. And a year later was relegated before the move to uh, to join Bayern. Scored the goal of the last World Cup against Argentina, you may recall, in the uh, first knockout round in Russia just over a year ago now. Here is Pavar. Going to find the run of Thiago. I think he was expecting Thiago to make the run on the channel, and that's what went wrong. A little breakdown in communication between Thiago and, and Pavar. Well, Kovac said back in June he wanted at least four more players to come in to uh, beef up the first-team squad. Has lost those uh, five season players in the close season. Uh, there is uh, Coman. Beyond Lewandowski in there, the diving header from the arriving Thiago. Well, he's made some good ground up there, Thiago Alcantara. Lewandowski, I think, was the initial target at the near post. And you can see as the cross is coming in, I think he's the intended target. It's too big for him, but Thiago gets on the end of it and can't direct it on target. It's a decent ball. Should have done better for me. Rodrigo. Now it's uh, Lucas Vasquez. Well, Tang steps in, Rodrigo there as well. Will come uh, Yozua Kimmich here for Bayern. They're keeping their first choice players on for longer tonight. And a foul given for that uh, trip on uh, Coman against uh, young Adrian De La Fuente. Niklas Zula now in possession for the German record meister, the record champion. In the Bundesliga area, 28 times they've uh, won the title. 
under the feet here of uh, Tolly Sook. Zula for Alaba. He had uh, Coman made the run. Kimmich pressured here by uh, the eager Takafuso Kubo. Now Pavar breaks though for uh, Real Madrid's possession. And uh, Sione. Oh, great run. And here for Vinicius to chase it. Vinicius held up by Pavar. Support arriving too from Mendy. Couldn't find him there, Vinicius. This is uh, Jaime Sione. De La Fuente. And Lucas Vasquez. Mendy again on the ball here for Real Madrid. Joining that uh, big money move from uh, Lyon in France into the feet now of uh, Kubo. Kubo's early touches so far are full of confidence. Only 18. Scored his first goal in the J League at a record 15 years and 10 months over two years ago. Here comes uh, Leon Goretzka for Bayern into midfield, replacing uh, Thiago for the game's last half an hour or so. That's been enjoyed a very good first year with Bayern. Also coming on here, the young Canadian too, uh, Alfonso Davies. Right in the uh, MLS in North America with the Vancouver Whitecaps before the move to Bayern uh, in January. Oh, here by Pavar. And comes straight through the back of him. Coman and Thiago, the players, uh, taken off by Nico Kovac. This is uh, Lucas Vasquez. Yeah. And he steps in. Lucas Vasquez there again. Now uh, well, Luka Jovic. Jovic had cost uh, 60 million euros for Eintracht Frankfurt. And he played under uh, Nico Kovac a couple of years ago. He was on the bench when uh, Kovac is Frankfurt beat Bayern to win the German Cup in 2018. So exciting talents in this Real Madrid squad, you can see that, but a little bit of lack of experience and you've got to get the balance right. They're working hard, but they're still not as comfortable, I think, as Bayern Munich are as a team. And they've obviously had a lot longer together. Gnabry here for Kimmich. Look at the run they've uh, into the middle here on the chase. It's uh, Corentin Tolisso! And turned away for the corner there by the uh, goalkeeper Navas. What a fantastically timed run from Pariso. That was superb and an excellent save from Jesus Navas. He almost got his second goal of the game. Running from a deep position. He's onside. They caught out this defence. Left foot, good strike on target. An excellent save. Bond's corner sent in away this time by the head of Javi Hernandez. Alfonso Davies. Alaba. Goretzka. Great reverse ball here. It's Alaba for Lewandowski at the near post. And again, Real smuggle the ball away somehow. Well, excellent play once again. Getting to the byline. The, the, the back four is so, so slow coming out. There's the pass. They're onside. He cuts it into the near post. There's four white shirts there, but Lewandowski's in front, and had the pass been better, he would have tapped that in for a goal. Rodrigo, Lucas Vasquez, this is De La Fuente. Nacho across here to Javi Hernandez. With uh, Oviedo last season loan in the uh, second tier in Spain, uh, the centre-back. There's Davies for Goretzka. Davies became Bayern's youngest scorer for 20 years. Uh, against Mainz back in March, their uh, youngest scorer since Roque Santa Cruz in 1999. Great run. Here goes Vinicius, and he's in! A great blocking there from Bayern at the back from Pava. That's a fantastic challenge. And he was just composing himself, Vinicius, when he went through, Dan. And then you see Pavard make that wonderful sliding challenge 
to prevent what would have been a certain goal. And that's why Bayern have spent the big bucks on uh, Benjamin Pavard, the World Cup winner. They've done that two or three times in the first half. They did it a couple of times. The goalkeeper didn't have to make a big save because the sting was taken out of the initial shot. And that's exactly what happened again there with Pavard. Here's Zula. Target here is picked out in uh, Alfonso Davies. Goes back to the more experienced Alaba. And Davies will get the return. Lewandowski's dummy. This is uh, Javi Hernandez. Free kick to Real Madrid. And a fill on Mendy for Vinicius Junior. This is uh, Soane. De La Fuente. Rodrigo, now Davies, who was a real star of the uh, Major League Soccer in the US. Lewandowski. We passed the 200 goal mark in the German top flight last season. Here's Lewandowski again. Rodrigo. Lewandowski, don't forget, uh, what, six years back, hit four goals against Real Madrid uh, in the semi-final of the Champions League against Stoke uh, when playing for Borussia Dortmund in 2013. It's Rodrigo here, head Luka Jovic. Rodrigo with a clever ball, a reverse pass. Out here to Lucas Vasquez. But what a ball that was. Oh, how did he do it? His balance is unbelievable, Dan. It was a reverse pass, but he, he didn't seem to be in a position to make it. And this is a really strong challenge on Lucas Vasquez. Referee deems that a free kick. Well, he barges straight into him. Maybe a little bit unlucky. I think he's won partially won the ball. But that Rodrigo pass was a thing of beauty. <laughs> it really well, it, was. It's a skillful run inside first was great, but then he he, he turned the half turned to 180 degrees and whipped the reverse pass back out again. That was superb. Lucas Vasquez and Kubo are the options on this one. It's going to be taken by Lucas Vasquez towards Nacho and away for the corner by Pavar. He's defending really well. Pavar has made three or four big challenges and interventions that would have resulted in goals. French World Cup one are shown as worth. They've begun every game of that to World Cup run in Russia. This is uh, Mendy. And we'll fall back well off target. Well, not his favourite right foot, uh, obviously, coming inside. This is good defending, Pavar again knows there's a player behind him. It's Nacho. Does everything right. Tolisso for David Alaba. And he's got uh, Alfonso Davies in support, and so too Goretzka. It's with... Uh, Alfonso Davies and uh, Alaba again, they move the ball quickly here to uh, Boateng for Nicolas Zula. Gnabry. Kimmich, who we know can uh, pick out a pass, this one uh, rather less ambitious to uh, Juan Boateng. Alfonso Davies back for Yozua Kimmich. Look at the run they've uh, made here. It's uh, Lewandowski with a glorious touch and turn! A and a marvellous goal! A master of the arts. Robert Lewandowski makes it two for Bayern. And for him, two goals in two games in this competition. And what a finish that was. Uh, you watch the timing of the run as well, Dan. He knows when the ball's going to be released, when he has to make the run, and he doesn't get caught offside. It's fantastic timing of the run. His first touch is great. He pivots and sweeps back and sticks it in the bottom corner of the net. That's a, a master craftsman at work. He's a, a goal every game and a half. Have a look at the run. Through the middle, little half turn, and then back of the net. He knows where the goal is. That's a great first touch. And it's only half a turn. He knows that's all he needs. 2 0. And that little bit of experience. The master craftsman, Lewandowski, puts another goal.
onto the tally. Four times the Bundesliga's uh, top scorer, one of five men only to score 200 goals in the Bundesliga. There goes Gnabry from the angle, and Navas makes the save. He's all over 50 goals, Lewandowski, for po Poland, and uh, he's a goal every nearly two games. And I, I think he's a goal every game and a half in, uh, for Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga. We are now at the second half, some midway points in Houston. Real have a problem in this city, a, a two-goal deficit to claw back. Going to take it by Gnabry, Good pace on it. And back out here to Jerome Boateng. Alaba again involved here. Alaba, Lewandowski on the turn, opens up again here over the bar this time. Well, he looks to the skies because he's got a half a turn again. He's looked up, he's looking to curl it, the top right-hand corner, and he leans back. Lovely little hook, reverse turn. Takes a touch out from his feet, and it's an awful finish from a man of that sort of quality. Yeah, Nacho back to Kalor Navas. Mendy. Again, it's with uh, Nacho here for Real Madrid into the feet of uh, Soane, but given away. Goretzka runs on here for Gnabry, another one. As Bayern go three goals clear on Real Madrid. Second half, Bayern's experience here comes to the fore. Lewandowski now Gnabry, two goals in quick succession. And Bayern now are over the hill and far away. Yeah, and the lack of experience in that back four is there for everyone to see. You know, really, it's a makeshift back four for me. I I'm looking at Nacho, he's the only one there that really looks comfortable. Mende has just arrived from Leon. you can see there. Xavi Hernandez hasn't settled, De La Fuente, they're all over the place. He's got a chance to take his first touch, nobody near him, it's not a great first touch, but he has time to then adjust his body and hit the half volley in the back of the net. And it shouldn't be happening, it's poor defending from Real Madrid, but hey, Gnabry does a brilliant job, what a finish. Yeah, Bayern sharper, more seasoned, more savvy, and now three goals up. Handshakes and high fives. It's a happy Bavarian bench. This is a fell on Mendy for Real Madrid. Nacho. Soane. Miscontrol there by uh, fell on Mendy. It was fairly whacked into him, wasn't it? With a lot of pace on it, Zidane knows his young players have got to find their way. And at the deep end at the moment, and confidence in the heads will go down, but they've got to keep playing their passing game, looking for the passes, and seeking to pick a goal back. This is uh, Kubo, the young Japanese. That's for uh, Luka Jovic here. Rush uh, takes charge, it's been called here though for the uh, earlier infringement, it's going to be called back for a, a Real Madrid free kick. Yeah, there was a foul on Kobe just as he's offloaded the pass, and this referee has done it so consistently, he's been excellent. He's going to be taken quickly. Yeah, by Rodrigo. The referee had his back turned, wants it taken again. So Bayern lead by three goals now. Second half, their uh, more experienced team really has uh, put this uh, younger Real team to the sword somewhat. It certainly has. You can see the lack of experience, as I say, Nacho, probably Lucas Vasquez, the only experienced players there. Kubo. And there's Vinicius. Zula came across and took the ball cleanly. Oh, he got out of the way, didn't he, Vinicius? Zula's a big lad, isn't he? He took everything inside. Let's have a look, say. Well, he gets the ball, and it's just as well Vinicius Jr. jumps because the follow through would have caught him. And Zula is across uh, the ground very quick indeed. There'll be another buy and change, one of, or two here. The young players being uh, rotated. We're going to see number 41, Maximilian Zeiser. He's only 20. I also think we're going to see the uh, young Kiwi. Sarpreet Singh coming on for Bayern 2, so uh, a double change, 
Singh came on in the last game too, the uh, defeat to Arsenal. Alaba makes way, as too does Tolisso. So Zaiza, who's a central midfielder, and uh, Singh is uh, a more offensive midfielder. The players brought on here by Niko Kovac. It's Goretzka. This is uh, Singh, the uh, young Kiwi. He already uh, has to his name four caps for uh, New Zealand's senior team. In after a good spell in the A League uh, with uh, the Wellington Phoenix. Rice with his feet. That's Pavar for Zula. Pavar. A punchy ball into the feet there of uh, Goretzka. Kimish again for Bayern. And Boateng, what a pass again here for Goretzka. And the ball wide in for Lewandowski for Gnabry once more. Navas with his knees, only half clear. And then Mendy stands firm. What a pass and movement that was, and had it resulted in a goal, Dan. It was brilliant stuff from Bayern Munich, but they're so outclassing this young Real Madrid side, it's on through. It's Sarpreet Singh now for Bayern. They've dropped to Davis back to be the uh, the left back now in that uh, revised Bayern system. Gnabry has uh, with him Pavar and Kimmich. Having in the middle to Lewandowski. And Zaiser for Kimmich. Alfonso Davies. And Sarpreet Singh. Zula, Gnabry, and now Pavar, deflected cross, and there was Sarfried Singh arriving on that. Well, he should have scored. Another super piece of play, overlapping full-back on the right-hand side. Pavar's cross is great, and he, he meets it with his left foot, Singh, and you can see he opens his body up, he's just got to hit the target, he's very close. It should have scored for me. Singh, who one imagines will uh, play this season in Bayern's second team in the third division for the most part, but uh, he's begun the game so far having come on pretty brightly. And it's with Yuzua Kimmich to play of this game 15 minutes. Well, we did say he was a utility player, Kimmich, and he's playing as an anchor man in midfield now, and he can't play anywhere in midfield in any one of the fullback positions. He played as a centre half when uh, they were coached for Pep Guardiola sometimes. There's Boateng. Onside. And the flag stays down here for Robert Lewandowski. It's blocked by Nacho. And it's seized now by Kalor Navas, but you can see the goalkeeper here. He knows his defence is being pulled every which way here by Bayern. Yeah, they're so inexperienced. There's only Nacho really is of experience. And, you know, it's like a rabbit being caught in the headlights. You can see they're all standing playing offside. His time has run perfectly again, at least they've tracked back, but uh, not good. They've got to really get better organised than that. Takafuso Kubo. And he was caught late there by uh, the already cautioned Yozua Kimmich. Well, Kubo has had a very impressive start to life uh, in a real jersey. Another one who I'm sure will feature more for their uh, reserve teams. Really neat and tidy though, hasn't he? Quick feet, very neat and tidy. Certainly making an impact. Played for Japan at the recent Copa America, where they were a guest nation. There is Kubo again. Kubo into Luka Jovic. Oh, Kimmich again for Bayern. Into uh, Zaiza. Gnabry, who got the third goal tonight. You can see the experience and the way they knock the ball about and they're so composed and they always have a pass and they have an outlet and they've done it really well once again a bit of a lesson for Real Madrid youngsters Alfonso Davies Lewandowski Soane Lucas Vasquez here wrestled down free kick to Real Madrid 
The teams could meet again in pre-season, by the way, because both are in uh, Bayern's hosted Audi Cup in the late July. This is uh, Soane. To Lucas Vasquez. That's for Rodrigo. He came off Kimmich. And the shot is in the arms of Sven Ulreich. Hasn't really had an awful lot to do, has he? That was De La Fuente's shot from outside the box, straight down the midriff. Yeah, De La Fuente. Yep. Only 20, uh, sent off twice playing for. Uh, Castilla, the uh, club's second team last season. There's Nicolas Zula, as to uh, Boateng. And Goretzka, can they inflict more damage on this uh, far younger and uh, far less uh, streetwise Real Madrid team? It's Gnabry and Kimmich. There's a Soane. There are players in the team that have cost uh, huge fees, the likes of uh, Mendy, 48 million, uh, Rodrigo, 45, and uh, Jovic, 60. But uh, among them is uh, a number of uh, very young players who've uh, got no real top level experience at all uh, in their career so far, the back especially. It's Lewandowski. 60,000 here as well to uh, see this uh, all-star cast in Texas. Niklas Zula lofted here towards Alfonso Davies. We take on uh, Vasquez here. It's Alfonso Davies still. Well, he's a, an experienced player, Lucas Vasquez, and Davies still gets a cross in, which is not great defending for me. I remember one Champions League game, I think it might even have been against Bayern, that they played Lucas Vasquez as a right back, and how they got away with it is beyond me. And here is the Canadian teenager, uh, Alfonso Davies. Got in from the uh, Vancouver Whitecaps in January. Young man who was born in Ghana as a, a refugee son, moved to Canada at the age of five and uh, has uh, already become a Bayerner, a real promise, a, a real shining star in their younger age groups. Another one who will may well play a lot for their second team in the coming season in the German third division. Kimmich. Oh, that's that's high risk. Letting Rodrigo. Oh, I came to meet him now. What was the decision here from the referee? Rodrigo, the player who was sent on in the uh, reckless back pass and a red card for Ulreich. Well, I'm not sure he, he, he impeded him that much. He might, easy, he might well have fallen over. I'd like to see it again. I think he's protesting about that Ulreich. He's, he's saying. Your momentum, let's have a look, see. It's poor from Kimmich, his back pass is awful. Well, his outstretched legs there. But let's have a look, see. Better from this angle. He's passed him. I think he makes the most of it. He looks like he's stumbling. I have a lot of sympathy there for Ulrich, who's been red carded for that. They're down to 10 men. And he's been sent off then for Bayern for the last 10 minutes or so. Well, they're going to have to take somebody else off or give one of the outfield players a green shirt to go on and goal. Well, they have on the bench another goalkeeper in Ron Torben Hoffman. They brought in uh, three years ago from uh, Erby Leipzig. Enough here for a red card? I'm not convinced it is. I think he makes the most of it. He falls over the top of his legs. I don't think the goalkeeper's done it up there. Kimmich hasn't. Covered himself in glory there, it's an awful back pass. And I have a bit of sympathy because I don't think his foot makes contact with the, with his leg. I think he falls over. All oh, right, shoes mistake, of course, from the uh, Tolisso back pass in that uh, Champions League game uh, a year and a half ago. It was so expensive. Now sent off against uh, his bogey team, Real Madrid. 
And coming on from the bench, we're going to see uh, Ron Torben Hoffman. He's only uh, 20. Yet to play a, a first team senior game. Born in Rostock. Been with, uh, as I say, Leipzig, and before that was on the books of uh, Hertha Berlin and then his hometown, Hansa Rostock. Well, I'm not sure it's going to make too much difference to the score with seven or eight minutes left. But I think it would be nice if they can get themselves a goal round Madrid. Yeah, vies with uh, Christian Fruchtel to be the club's third choice goalkeeper, Hoffman. And he comes then for the uh, game's last eight or so minutes, plus maybe added time because of this uh, long break in play. I think it was Max Sizer that had to come off. He's only been on ten minutes now. It doesn't make contact with Rodrigo. You can see he falls over the outstretched leg. He looks like he's stumbling anyway. He's lost his balance. I think it's a little bit harsh for the red card, but I can see why the referee's given him it. And the free kick on it. Here's the man who won it, Rodrigo, as well as Vinicius Junior, and also the young Japanese, Takafuso Kubo. Against the uh, real rookie goalkeeper for Bayern now in Ron Torben Hoffmann. Well, three players of huge potential on this set piece for Real Madrid. Names you'll hear, I'm sure, in the future a lot more of. He's a big lad, Sula, isn't he? He's a giant. This is Rodrigo! Oh. Lovely goal! In his first game in a Real Madrid jersey, he scores a free kick of sensational quality. It's 3-1. Well, that is a very emphatic free kick from Rodrigo, who won the, the free kick initially. And the goalkeeper was substituted, but that is some strike. I think the goalkeeper is, is within arm's reach of the ball, but it's hit with such ferocity into the top right-hand corner, Dan. Have a look at the strike. This is magnificent. Wow. Wow. And again, for me, he's coming across with his right hand, really. If he puts his left hand up, he can, he's a better chance of getting to it. Well, he came from Santos, he wore Neymar's old number 11 jersey there. He cost Real Madrid 45 million euros, Rodrigo. You can see why there. That's, that is special. And this is a young man with a lot of talent. There's Alfonso Davies. Davies with a lovely run. Navas has it. Well, he did everything but put it in the back of the net. Fantastic run from Davies. There's Rodrigo again. And now, of course, the 10 men are buying. That's a red card for uh, Ulreich. This is uh, Fernand Mendy. Soane. And Kubo. And to Vinicius Junior. Every uh, has to funnel back. The final five minutes of what's been a really enjoyable uh, game here. The two teams have given us a really absorbing game for a, a friendly, in essence. Oh, it's been a fantastic game, really brilliant game. The first 45 minutes was excellent. And there should have probably been more goals, but you know, chasing the two teams and the strength and depth that Bayern Munich have shown, they've got a little bit more experience and nice. And this young Real Madrid side fighting back now. It's 2 1 or 3 1. Fernand Mendy, and there's Rodrigo for Kubo. Kubo, Soane, that's a Lucas Vasquez here for Real Madrid. And De La Fuente. Cross picked up here by uh, Yozua Kimmich for Bayern. And a foul then on uh, Sarpreet Singh. And this will be Bayern's first win of pre-season, their first three points of this International Champions Cup. And let's get three points and uh, 
It'll be Bayern who will take those from this game in Houston. Well, over the 90 minutes, I've got to say they've been the better side. Certainly played some really good football, taking their chances. But when you've got a proven goal scorer like Lewandowski, that certainly makes a big difference for me. There is a Lucas Vasquez. I will uh, next play uh, AC Milan in Kansas on Tuesday. Wales next to test Arsenal in uh, Maryland on uh, Wednesday. This is uh, Soane. Oh, the hit. Oh, that's a shame. After the uh, Milan game, Bayern will uh, return to Germany and take on Fenerbahce and then maybe Real Madrid in the uh, Audi Cup in their own stadium, the Allianz Arena in Munich. Kimmich, Lewandowski here for Pavar. With the Pavar again, Niklas Zula in possession. To Davies. Kuba finds some space to work in. Cleverly done here. And to Soane. They work the ball wide here towards uh, Kubo again. And Kubo still a really tricky player, the Japanese. Good left foot, hasn't he? A sweet left foot. You can see why Sedan says he's a player of real quality. Only 18, uh, made his Japanese J League debut at 15. And FC Tokyo. But the players Sedan likes the look of and. His praise is not easily earned. Listen, if he says they're good, they're good. <laughs> and he should know he was the best himself. Yeah, it's a fair piece of defending. Let's in Gnabry. And Mendy, they claim a handball against uh, Felon Mendy. And Nacho on the ball for Real Madrid. As we're near the end of 90 minutes. Along towards Kubo. And the Pavar is with him. Looks to uh, be very quiet, Luka Jovic. Into Vinicius Junior now. And again, Kubo for Mendy. On the run was uh, Vinicius Junior, but uh, easy here for Montauban Hoffman. Well, the pass from Kubo was a little bit too strong, too heavy. A lot of pace on it. Idea was good. Given away cheaply. And again by Kimmich, who cost him the goal. And by Vinicius Junior here. First of those uh, three indicated added minutes. There's uh, Yuzua Kimik on to uh, Pavar again for Bayern. To uh, Gnabry. Lewandowski. The run made here by uh, Alfonso Davies. Davies with him uh, Gnabry and goes back instead to Leon Goretzka. As the US fans would love to see a goal scored by the uh, former MLS player Alfonso Davies before we're done here in uh, Houston. Now Gnabry. Gnabry's pass and Sarpreet Singh on the turn, flags up, won't count. To Sarpreet Singh here, it's not a, his first goal for Bayern. It's a shame because it was an excellent finish and it must have been really close on the offside. But that, that back four for Real Madrid's been poor, it's not a, a proper back four for me, it's very inexperienced. And here's Kubo. And Kubo caught here, free kick and a card coming as well. And a card here shown, I think, to uh, Leon Goretzka there for the foul on... Uh, Takafuso Kubo. I have to say, he's impressed me the second half, Kubo. Takafuso Kubo has been excellent. He's probably been their best player in the second half for Real Madrid. He's here again. Looking support uh, from Mendy and now from Vinicius Junior. Jaime Soane. That'll be uh, a goal kick then for Bayern. We've had uh, two of the three minutes of stoppage time. 
Get your thoughts on where both teams are now, you think, in terms of their pre-season and how things are shaping up? Well, you can see they're not as fit and they're not as well organised as Bayern Munich. That game that they had, that they lost to Arsenal, I think has helped them. And uh, They settled down and passed and played better for me. Real Madrid's finishing was poor in the first half, particularly Karim Benzema. He had two or three good chances, didn't take any of them. Could have been a different game. Second half, it's all about the experience against the inexperienced. Here goes De La Fuente. Is there one more attack here for Bayern, maybe? It's with uh, Sapreet Singh. It goes Rail's way here with the play, less than 20 seconds of the added time. Niko Kovac and Bayern are on the cusp of the victory, but by what margin? Right here to uh, Phil on Mendy. One more attack for Real Madrid, maybe, here. Pushed on to uh, Rodrigo, and Hoffman has it, and that should be it. Indeed, the whistle sounds, and Bayern take the win and the points. In this game, a 3-1 victory, Robert Lewandowski in the second half made it 2-0 before Gnabry with the clincher, really. A late red card for Bayern goalkeeper Sven Ulreich in a free kick. Uh, for some style from uh, Rodrigo in his first game in a Real Madrid jersey, too, offered some cheer to their support in Houston, but it's a win for Bayern here by three goals to one.